What's going on guys? It is Tuesday, December 27th, um, and it's, uh, it's a cold day today. <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat, it's a cold day. And honestly, it was negative five over the weekend. So that's what you get when you go from Miami to Kansas City. It's cold as tits, guys, just point blank period. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, guys, I'm happy to be home. Um, just got settled into my new apartment and spent a lot of time with family recently, much, much needed time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, we're here, we're back in the city. Time to make things shake. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a life update and just a quick, you know, Tuesday talk. Not gonna be too long, um, we'll see. You know, y'all know I get passionate, y'all know I get deep, so we'll see what happens. But nonetheless, um, yeah guys, life is good. I'm, I'm blessed, I'm happy, I'm healthy. I'm very, very thankful for my health because I've, I've definitely seen the highs and lows in that aspect, regardless of how much I've tried to take care of my body and do the right things. I've definitely seen my, my fair share of highs and lows, but that's okay, you know, things happen. All we can do is just, you know, do our best, right? At the end of the day, it's in God's hands. So all we can do is do our best. But um, yeah, guys, I'm excited for this new year. A lot of, a lot of focus will be on my day trading and a lot of focus will be on uh, my nonprofit. And then, you know, if I if I get blessed with the with the financial opportunity to, or I guess financial freedom to to leave my job, I'll I'll be creating a lot more film work. Um, I'm, you guys know I'm extremely passionate about helping kids and, and making movies. Those are like my two the two things I really want to do on a full time basis. Um, I love trading. But I want trading to just supplement the lifestyle that I desire. And honestly, I've, I've had a, a good chance to look in the mirror as of late and ask myself what it means to live and walk in the dream life that I desire, right? Because if you think about it, everybody's dream life looks phenomenal. It looks glamorous. It looks free. It looks wealthy. It looks fun. It looks exciting. It looks loving, right? But why is it that? only 75 to 85 or maybe 90% get to truly live out their dreams, um, you know, to the level that they can and the level that they desire. Well, it comes down just to effort and, you know, strategic action. That's really what it comes down to, you know, how much effort are you putting in? How much, how much sleep are you willing to sacrifice? How many, um, you know, connections are you willing to make? How much effort do you want to put into the connections that you already have? You know, a lot of people overlook that. They want to just go meet new people and do this and do that and do this. The person that you that's going to bless you and bless your career, bless your finances, might already be among you. But you're too busy looking elsewhere um, rather than just cultivating the current relationships you have. And that's what this book taught me. Power of Who. Subtitle is You Already Know Everyone You Need to Know. And that's very powerful. Um, but yeah, guys, I want you to, to work hard on getting closer to your dream life. Uh, that's definitely something I'm gonna be putting a big, big emphasis on this year. How fast can I get to my dream life? Because it, you know, my dream life looks very fruitful. I know this thing's cutting my head off. Uh, my dream life looks very fruitful. I'm talking, you know, five to six mission trips a year, going to help and bless kids, orphans, building schools, making impact, you know? Like that's, what I just, I crave, that's my God-given purpose. And it's gonna be carried out, it's a mission that's gonna be carried out and I just, I can't wait, like I'm so eager to get to it. But with that being said, there's work that needs to be done to get to that dream. Um, so far we've done, I've done, been able to do um, two mission trips a year uh, with the nonprofit, which is great. Um, the goal has been two until we're more sustainable. I spoke with Kelly, our, our COO. Um, the goal has been two until we're more sustainable, funded, etc. But I don't want to just keep waiting. Um, so with that being said, like I have to, I'm meeting with a coach today, a nonprofit coach, and um, I'm gonna just be straight up with her. Like, hey, I, I'm, I'm looking for a blueprint. I know things in life and business aren't always straightforward, but I'm looking for a blueprint because I want to take this to the next level and I want to take my life to the next level. This is not a game to me. Um, so with that being said, like coaching is taking place. After that, I got a meeting with the producer and director here in town. I'm gonna see if I can work with him on some films. And um, yeah, just get involved, get back on set, because that's 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 one another happy place of mine. Um, being with kids, helping kids, and then being on set are just 
my happy places. I still DJ, a lot of people have asked me. I still DJ from time to time, not as frequently um, as when I had my residency in Miami, but I, I still love getting behind the turntables and doing the thing, you know, doing what I do. But you know, DJing is just, is a backseat to me now. It's just more of like a hobby because I really want to be on set and I really want to be traveling the world helping kids. That's, those are my two priorities in the new year. So um, yeah, guys, that's just a little of life update on me. My health is improving. Um, some of you know I dealt with some setbacks this fall, but um, you know, things are looking up. I'm gonna keep working hard to take care of my body. Got to play some basketball yesterday with my boy Angelo. We was running up the digits. I know how I get down. <laughs> got more Got more work to do. Um, I want to definitely improve my leg strength and uh, be able to just to play basketball like I used to. I want to be as healthy, strong, stallion like I, you know, like I'm accustomed to being. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you all are taking care of yourselves, but really put an emphasis on getting to your dream life as soon as you can, Whether, whatever that looks like for you. Make sacrifices, journal. No right. Like stay, stay locked in. Like make sure you're seeing your goals on a consistent basis. Just be very intentional on living your, on getting to your dream life, not just living your life. Because before you know it, you're gonna be 40. You know, you're gonna be 30, whatever the case may be. You're, you're gonna realize life has kind of just moved past you, and you've just kind of gone through the motions. Like, oh, another year has come to an end, and I'm still not living my dream life. I'm an example. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm blessed. I'm fortunate. You know. I have a family, um, I have a loving support system, I have a roof over my head, I just got a new car last week. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm extremely, extremely blessed and humble and grateful, um, but I'm not living my dream life to the extent that I, that I desire and require of myself. So I encourage you to do the same. Have a long look in the mirror and, you know, ask yourself what it's gonna take to get to your dream life. Write it down, stick to it, okay? I'll be your accountability partner if necessary. And I'm gonna create, I'm just creating this video to be my own accountability partner. That's what this is about. Um, two men on a mission. Anthony, Angelo Torres, my buddy, and my, um, you know, just a brother in faith. We're, we're two men on a mission. So what we're doing is documenting, you know, tidbits and things in our lives that we feel like we should share, right? Just sharing our journey, the highs, the lows, and the in-betweens because someone out there can connect with it. And we know that as men and leaders in society, sometimes it, shit ain't always pretty, right? We go through ups and downs, we go through these different things, but uh, we can often bottle it in and just kind of keep moving forward. But it's important to document or share or encourage someone else because you never know what someone else might be going through. And in time, like you look back on all the, on the content you created, all the documenting you did and be like, wow, this is where we were at on Tuesday, December 27th, 2022. So be on the lookout for that. A lot of more content coming and a lot more inspiration and just realness, you know, real life content. Not this social media glamorized nonsense, real life content, okay? So um, I love you guys. I hope you had a phenomenal holidays. If you'd like to learn more about my nonprofit, um, just check out our Instagram. It's Global Waves Foundation. Or if you'd like to go to our website to figure out how you can get involved in um, support, it's www.globalwavesfoundation.com. Um, truly a beautiful mission that we're on and I, the impact I expected myself to create. Legacy. Legacy. Just know that. So with that being said, guys, I love y'all. Take care. Happy holidays. And as always, man, leave your hand for it, baby. Because you only got one print. So leave it while you're here. <laughs> Peace.